Thanks, Doug. We know a lot of viewers of this broadcast have been eager to hear from News Force Leon Harris, who recently served jail time after an arrest earlier this year for driving under the influence of alcohol. Back in January, NBC4 removed Leon from his anchoring duties after his arrest, and he was later reinstated. Today, for the first time, Leon is sharing his story about what happened that night and about his recovery from addiction in an interview with our colleague, Doreen Gensler. And we should note here that they both agreed that there would be no question that was off limits. In my condition, I could kill somebody. I was actually more impaired than I thought I was. I thought that, you know, after having about four glasses of wine, I was good. I wasn't. And there's no, nobody's going to be good after that. But because I've been doing it before, and I got away with it before, and my body had gotten to the point where it was not processing, like it did when I was 25, like it did when I was 35, mm -hmm. I was in much, I was in worse shape than I thought. And I know that now. What I learned was that um, the most important relationships The most important thing that I wanted to um, I wanted to repair before even repairing myself um, was my marriage, and then um, I know I let so many people down. What about the leaving the trying to leave the scene of the accident part? That part again was the alcohol. That was the disease. That was the alcohol and the disease. What I did was I talked to the the, the, uh, the young lady that I I run uh, bumped into, and we exchanged information. And I thought after exchanging information, we should be good. I was only a literally a mile away from my house. It was one turn away from getting to my house, and um, all I could think of was just getting home. Mm -hmm. And again, that's the impairment, and that's the alcohol. Um, I didn't think. And I did not think that me just exchanging information and then getting in my car and, and going home, I didn't think that that was going to be a problem. And <laughs> soberly on sitting here, I was like, yes, that's a problem. That night, no, it wasn't. And that was my, my judgment was, was, my judgment was that, that impaired. I think people would like to know what you're doing on a daily basis to, yeah. to turn this thing. Three hours of therapy in the morning. Um, Three hours. Three hours of therapy in the morning? That's a lot. Yeah, it is. Well, talking with other fellow travelers, uh -huh. okay, um, there's something about the matter of whatever, whatever it is. I mean, you could say you're in a, in a group of, um, of divorcees. Um, they're all fellow travelers, right? Um, and there's something about whether or not you're in the same boat, knowing that you're all in the same water allows you to, to, to listen and open up and be receptive in a way that you wouldn't be necessarily if you were standing in line behind the same person at Safeway. Okay. And I have found that um, talking with uh, with people who are, are dealing with the same kind of things, and some people are dealing with things even worse than me. Mm -hmm. It's given me a lot of perspective. You talked about um, uh, letting people down, disappointing people, and, and you know that there are people who who are disappointed by, by what you've been through. Um, and you know you're a role model and and all of that what, what do you say to those people um man you would think i'd have an answer for that by now um for all the people that that i've let down and who i've disappointed um, I say, first, can I tell you how sorry I am? But I will try to show you that I, des I deserve a shot at earning your trust and respect again. And the only way I can do that is through patterns, not promises. I am going to have to, to, to pattern the rest of my life in a more responsible way 
as bad as my decision making has been, as bad as my, as bad as the last, the last three weeks of my life have been. It can't be fixed. It can't be fixed. And um, I'm going to do what it takes to make it happen. Leon is currently serving three years of supervised probation with an ignition interlock device installed on his vehicle. We're going to welcome Leon back to the anchoring set tomorrow on News 4 at 6.